I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with Dean the Machine Dodge. Uh, we're here in Liverpool, man. It's quite busy in this hotel right now, but I hope you can hear me. Yeah, you're weighed in, you're fueled up. Ready for Saturday night? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm buzzing for it. I can't wait. Um, yeah, just, just refueling now, um, getting the hydration back in me and um, fueling up, and I can't wait, wait to go for, for tomorrow night. Talk to you about Keep Fires. It's another tough test for you. You've had two back to back tough tests, two two losses, you, you need to get back in that win column, so is this going to be the best Dean Dodge on Saturday night against Akeem Fayaz? Yes, 100% it's going to be the best Dean Dodge you've seen and um, I just can't wait to put on a performance and um, put on a performance in front of Eddie Hearn and um, hopefully impress him and impress all the people watching. Eddie Hearn's got high hopes for Akeem, um, he's undefeated, uh, he's doing all the right things so far, like I said to you, Eddie Hearn's got high hopes for him but are you that man to upset that apple cart and get a, a wee contract from Eddie Hearn? 100%. That's, um, that's the plan. Um, upset the apple cart on um, Akeem's um, Akeem trail and um, hopefully get signed by Eddie Hearn and hopefully he can do some, something for me. You obviously had two back-to-back -back losses in your last two outwins, man. What does another loss do for your career? Is, is, are you, is that you done? Is that you written off? Or do you feel like... Because there's, there's a lot made on these zeros for fighters and wins for fighters. Three back-to-back -back losses might mean... What does that mean for you? But obviously, it's not going to happen on Saturday night in your mind. But can you come back from that if, if that does happen? Yeah, I think I can come back from that. Um, I'm a very, very tough opponent. You know what I mean? I think I'd give anyone um, in the UK, in my division, a very hard fight um, but saying that I don't, I don't think um, Akeem's going to be able to deal with my pressure um, he's had he's had some fights and um, this toughest fight he had was against Kane Baker and Kane Baker's he's not a solid puncher, puncher he's not a hard puncher and he give um, Fiaz some problems um, out of the way and Fiaz didn't look very good he looked very unhealthy um, I don't know how he makes the weight, I don't know what he does to make the weight, but he didn't look good. Um, I don't know if that's going to play in my hands tomorrow, but we'll soon find out. Can you knock uh, keep Fiaz out? <laughs> um, yeah, if he doesn't move and sits there and doesn't, doesn't, doesn't move, I can knock him out 100%. But um, it's professional boxing, you've got small gloves on. Um, if you hit anyone in the right position at the right time, then I think anyone can, can get hurt. Um, but I'm not going to say yes, I'm not going to say no. Just have to find out and wait and see. This fight week, there's been a quite a bit of talk on um, Campbell Hatton against Aki Fiaz and just everything around those sort of fights that I spoke to Eddie Hearn about and he said Aki Fiaz and Campbell Hatton's a, a future fight. But again, you beat Aki Fiaz, Campbell Hatton, all these other big names in the UK is right there for you. 100%. Um, that's what I want. Um, that's what I'm in this game for. I want to be known, you know what I mean? I'm from Somerset, people don't really know about me. But um, get a win on a matchroom show and beat Akeem Fiaz, and um, people are definitely going to know about me. What's going to happen Saturday night then? Obviously, big, huge crowd in the Echo, well, MS Bank Arena. Um, on Live on the zone, you've got an undefeated opponent ahead of you. What's going to happen? Um, I'm going to be there to upset the apple cart. That's what's going to, that's what's going to happen. Um, I can't promise how I'm going to win, but I promise I will win. One more question for me then, before I let you go in and fuel up a little bit more. I've seen that you've got a big bag of food down there, so you're obviously fueling up to get nice, big and strong. What's the hopes for you in this boxing game? Like I said to you, you've got a, you beat Aki Fiaz, almost the sky's the limit now, but what is the sort of boyhood dream of yours that you still yet to achieve and want to achieve in this game? Um, my um, my ambitions is still the same as when I turned pro. I want to win titles. Um, I know you got to sell a lot of tickets, and that's that's hard. Um, but if I can get the backing and someone supporting me and putting on shows from where I'm from, then that can be done. 
Um, I have a, I have a lot of support. I sell quite a, quite a few tickets um, on the road, fighting away. Um, so hopefully um, get some big wins and then get some get some wins against people who are credible and done things in the in, in the sport. Akeem's um, he's a big ticket, so that's something that I, I'm not. So um, beat him and um, doors can open up for me. Listen, Dean, I hope. Well, you hope you're all the best. Wish you all the best for Saturday night. And uh, listen, keep fueling up, keep eating, man, and I'll see you soon. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Dean. Thank you. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light. Yeah. Relationships are not my forte. <laughs> See if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.